In this video, we will look at solving what are called value problems, where each variable has a value assigned to it. To help us organize our information, we'll put everything in a 3x3 three three table. We'll take the number of things we have, the value that they're worth, and also the total amount of money in that value. In order to calculate the total amount, we take the number of things times the value they have, and that will always equal our total. We will then be able to create an equation from the last column. So let's take a look at an example where we set up and organize our information in the value table and pull an equation off the last column. In this problem, Brian has dimes and quarters. We have a number of coins, each coin has a value, and when we multiply, that should equal our total. We might even label the rows as dimes and quarters. We're told that Brian has twice as many dimes as quarters. How do we show that the dimes are twice as many? We multiply by 2. You might use 2x. This means the quarters are simply just x. For the value, then, we look at the value that a dime is worth. A dime is worth 10 cents. A quarter is worth 25 cents. We are now ready to calculate the total column. The total column comes from multiplying the number times the value. 2x times 10 is 20x. x times 25 is 25x. The only additional piece of information we need is that the total value of the coins is 495. This means if we add the totals of dimes and quarters together, we get 495. Notice I write this number in cents because the dimes and quarters were 10 cents and 25 cents, so to be consistent, we need 495 cents. Do not put it in dollars. Again, we get the equation to solve from this last column. 20x from the dimes plus 25x from the quarters equals 495. We now have an equation we can solve in order to answer the question. We can solve this equation quickly by combining like terms to get 45x equals 495, and then finally dividing by 45 to find out that x is equal to 11. Looking at our table, we see that x was the quarters. We have 11 quarters. The dimes are 2x, or 2 times 11. We have 22 dimes. Let's take a look at another example where we have to set up a value table in order to answer the question. In this problem, a child has three more nickels than dimes. We have some number, value, and a total. We might even label that we're talking about nickels and dimes. To show that we have three more nickels, we have to add three to the variable. Dimes, then, must just be x. The value on a nickel is 5, and the value on a dime is 10. In order to calculate the totals, we need to multiply number times value to equal the total. Make sure you put the number in parentheses to give us 5x plus 15 for the total nickels, and the dimes are 10x. We're also told that the total value is 195. In other words, when we add these together, in cents, we get 195. The last column, then, becomes our equation. 5x plus 15 plus 10x must equal the 195. Combining like terms, 15x plus 15 equals 195. Subtracting 15, 15x equals 180. And dividing by 15, we get x is equal to 12. We said x was the dimes. There are 12 dimes. The nickels, then, is x plus 3. 12 plus 3 is 15. We have 15 